in charity with the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge and set up their own foundation. Harry and Meghan are to break away from the Royal Foundation. William and Kate will remain with the original charity which was created in 2009 as a vehicle for the princes to carry out charitable work. The Duchesses of Cambridge and Sussex both joined the foundation as patrons when they married. Let's talk to our Royal Correspondent, Nicholas Witchell, who's here with me now. So what exactly have they announced? They have announced that the Sussexes are leaving the Royal Foundation, which was set up some years ago, and which in February of last year, all four of them sat around and said that they were very committed to it and engaged with it as a common purpose between uh, the, the two now married couples. But it's perhaps not unexpected that two married couples with families have, to an extent, drifted apart. Uh, what, of course, Is lies... Is what's happened? Well, uh, who, who can tell, really? I mean, what we are invited to believe, here is the official statement, the changes are designed to best complement the work and responsibilities of their royal highnesses as they prepare for their future roles. Which they've it's, been doing since birth, frankly. Indeed. It's not as if their future roles and the divergence between the man who will be king and his younger brother who will not be king has not been known about. Um, what is also puzzling is that if you go onto the Royal Foundation website, the first thing almost that you see is this kind of mission statement which says, when people come together they can achieve great things. Well, that was the message very much in February of last year, uh, but clearly things have changed since then. Harry is with Meghan, uh, and they clearly now wish to set up their own foundation, or whatever they choose to call it, uh, and pursue their own charitable objectives, though it is important to stress that they will remain, uh, there will be some objectives which will be common to both families, mental health, uh, conservation, and they will continue to work together, but they will have separate charitable vehicles. So on the front page of their website, as we see, there's a picture of William and Harry, both all smiles. Now, the, there have been rumours for a long time about the relationship between the two duchesses, but, but what is going on behind the scenes, Nick? I think there is little doubt that William and Harry have, to an extent, grown apart, and I think that there was a particularly difficult period between them uh, some months ago, which we are told was all patched up. They got together just before Easter, I think it was, and smoothed over those difficulties. Um, and I'm sure that that will have been difficult for both of them, given the proximity and the importance of the brotherly relationship to both of them. And I'm sure that Harry has looked to William uh, very extensively over uh, recent years. But he's now married. He's with um, uh, Meghan. Uh, uh, he has his or their son. Uh, so there are new pri priorities. They've moved their base away away from Kensington Palace down to Windsor. The households have separated. Now, is that not inevitable? To an extent, I'm sure it was. But I also think that there is a little bit more to it than that, that there has been a, you know, a clash of personalities. There's bound to be. There are in all families, aren't there? And in their exposed positions and the, the degree of attention that is paid to them, every little um, uh, stress and strain is going to be magnified. Um, one must suppose that Meghan and Kate, two quite different people, different backgrounds, different agendas, different objectives, different personalities. So it would be really quite surprising if there weren't a kind of divergence. And this is part of that divergence. If those eyebrows could tell a story. <laughs> no, well, that, no, that's that's absolutely. I think you know that that I think is is uh, as as an accurate account, which isn't sort of delving into the sort of gossip column end of it. Mm. But that is what we know. And yeah, clearly, no smoke without fire. But you know, this is formalising the the charitable, the work end of it, and it will mean that they will have more control, Harry and Meghan. Though it is absolutely denied that this is being done so that they have complete control over their own affairs. Well, uh, okay, one might take that with a bit of a pinch of salt. Nicholas Witchell, thank you very much.